Everybody's bringing in cats. Today at the vet clinic is must be cat day. Keep him inside for a couple days. Meow. Who wants help me with the kitty? It's not written on the calendar, but everybody who's coming in today has cats. It's kitty day. Come on, kitters. There you go. Nice. I had to pour her in so we might have to dump her out. In general, cat appointments can fall anywhere from normal routine vaccination updates to scratched eyes. Upper respiratory infection, which is super common in kitties. Just snotty noses. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. Renal disease. Her kidneys aren't functioning as well as they're supposed to be. To vomiting cats. Could be anything. Oh, we are so good. So Dr. Nicole and I are going to do the best we can to work through all these cats today and get all their problems solved. It's going to be a cat-tastic day. <laughs> Dr. Nicole. Tommy. And Dr. Brenda. Camilla Whetstone. Dive into their next kitty cases. Jem was found in the parking lot outside of my work maybe a week or two ago, and she had like gunk in her eye. Good. What's going on with your kitty? This eye is a lot darker than the other. I just want to make sure it's her eye and not an infection. I just hope that it's not too bad. She's got a scratch or had a scratch on it at some point. So we're going to stain her eye. Oop. The stain starts out orange and turns like a nice bright lime green. And if there was a scratch left on the eye, the area of the scratch would take up the stain and we would have a bright green spot on our eye. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, there is not a spot on the eye. She's got a scratch on her cornea that's starting to heal. This is actually good news. I mean, it's painful for the kitten when it first happens, but the fact that it's starting to heal means she's getting better already. Got some kind of gross ears though. So it looks like she has ear mites. I'll look at these under the microscope. All right, I'll be back in a couple minutes. While Dr. Brenda probes for parasites. He's not real friendly. Okay. Okay. Dr. Nicole makes nice with Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Thomas is not a people person. So what's been going on with Okay, this? here's mom's note. Tommy is my mom's cat, and he was walking with his head tilted and he was falling down. And he didn't run from me this morning, so that tells me there's something wrong with him. She said it was almost like he had vertigo or something. Hi, kitty kitty. He's gonna tip you out a little bit. Ooh, hi, bud. It's okay. But he's hanging on for dear life. Okay, the pupils are still good. Sometimes when they have a little bit of a head tilt, it can be caused by an ear infection. And take a look at his ears. When I hear about a cat that's wobbly and has a head tilt, one of the easiest fixes is an ear problem. Ears look really good. Oh. It's not that. Can you see you walk around, buddy? Mm -hmm. Come here, baby. Come on. There's some eggs. We're looking at Gem today, and what we find is the kitten has ear mites. So there's 10 billion in this kitten's ear, so these are some really nice big ear mites floating around. And this is not an uncommon finding for outdoor cats. So your little kitten has a bunch of ear mites, just a bunch of them. So we'll get some of those gooky things out of there. Waste products from the ear mites, it's like having coffee grounds jammed down on their ears. So for Gem today, we're going to give her a medication that's gonna kill the ear mites. There we go. Okay, other than the things we've talked about so far, she's in pretty good health. Really excited and happy that Gem is okay. Alrighty, you're all set in here. Come on, Tommy. Can I see you walk around, buddy? Mm -hmm. Come here, baby. And he's kind of walking with his left side of his head down. Yeah. Come here. He could have fallen and hit his head, and now we're kind of seeing some uh, basically effects of falling and hitting your head. I'm leaning more towards a head injury for Tommy. He has a head tilt, he's wobbly, so something in the brain isn't right. He'll need medication twice a day to begin with. Twice a day, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put him on some anti-inflammatories. Usually when you have a head tilt or any kind of neurological problems, you kind of get nauseous, you're not feeling quite good. He is also getting a shot for nausea. He may kind of get grouchy with us. <laughs> yeah, once it sits in there for a second. The yeah, that's okay. I'll help you get him in his cage. Good boy. Oh, heck, that was easy this time. <laughs> I'm gonna feel pretty good about it when I walk in the house and he runs away. That's how I know he's better. 
All right, bud. 